Hey everybody and welcome to an episode of You Better Believe It, a show where we take you inside the studio, <clears throat> onto the internet, yeah. and uh, just talk about what is striking our fancy. And sometimes there's pictures right here. Yeah. All right, moving on to real news. And you found this, and I thought this was pretty interesting, actually. Yeah, this is from one of my favorite sites, Nautilus. The I've never Nautilus seen that. magazine is just killing it. Yeah? Yeah, they have great articles all the time. Is it all science? Yes, but it's really interesting, different types of science. Cool. Yeah. Well, this one is about. Um, yes, but. Empathetic <laughs> stress. Yeah. And I wasn't super surprised by this, but um, basically what they're saying is, is when you uh, see something stressful for someone else, uh-huh. then you can actually experience levels of stress. Yeah, like just have, by watching it. Have you ever been watching a TV show or something and you're really wrapped up in it and yeah. like things are getting really tense or awful for one of the characters and then it goes to commercial break and your brain suddenly scans your your emotions and it's like, why do I feel so awful right now? What right. is it? Then you realize, oh, it's the TV show I'm watching. Well, this study basically proves that that is a real thing. Do you want to try and pronounce the name of the journal it was pronounced in? Or it's, uh, uh, published in? If I may. Yeah. It looks like it's the journal Psychoneuroendocrinology. Very nice. And it was close. That looks like the alphabet when you just see it on a page. That's a good word. It's a long one. Can we get it up there? Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so what they did was they did a study, and um looks like a pretty good study to me. They took pairs of people. Um, some were in romantic relationships of at least six months. Right. Some were just strangers. They put one person uh, through a stressful situation, a uh, a math uh, course, basically. A math course with <laughs> observers, onlookers, watching you do this math. Yeah, behavioral analysts. And then uh, their partner, uh, whether they knew them or not, was watching uh, from a two-way mirror and just observing. Right, and then to, to prevent any kind of um, worrying about yourself. Right, being confused of, of being stressed out w- when you're really worried that you're going to have to do it. Right. They assured everybody that you are not going to have to do this test. All we want you to do is watch your partner do this test. Yeah, and I was glad to see that because my first thought was, if I was in this, I would think, oh, no, I'm going to get shocked if I'm I don't next. know. <laughs> Although they didn't shock people. No, not but, in um, this one. They've no. done it before. It sure have. And what they found was um, all but 5% of the people taking the test uh, were stressed, mm-hmm. and I guess the other 5% were good at math, um, and 26% of the observers experienced empathetic stress Yeah, just by watching. Yes. Um, apparently, 1 in 10 felt empath- empathetic stress from watching somebody they didn't know go through this struggle. Right. Because apparently they set it up, so it was like, like this is not going to be an easy, fun thing for anybody. Yeah. Except for that 5%. Right. But then if you were romantically involved with the person who was undergoing this math test, um, the, the, the empathetic stress signs quadrupled. Yeah. So there's definitely a, a connection between humans, or this, this study suggests it. There, and I would guess it has to do with mirror neurons, wouldn't you? Yeah, a strong sense of empathy. Um, I don't get super stressed, but uh, Emily, my wife, gets really stressed watching... I mean, it can be a, a TV show about someone flipping a house <laughs> and, the, and the house flip is going bad and she'll get stressed out. It's funny. And maybe it's because she's done that in real life as well. That might have something to do with the empathy factor. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, she, like, she had to quit watching The Walking Dead altogether because it would stress her out and she couldn't get to sleep. Yeah. And so I mean, she avoids that stuff now. That's like, like the TV shows are structured to do that to you. Yeah. And I imagine it does affect some people more than others. I it's, love it. It's weird. Like it always takes me a second where I'm like, why, why am I so upset right now? What, what's going on? And then yeah. I'm like, oh, stupid Law and Order. Right. Then you just put it on Leave It to Beaver, and everything's good. Right. It's all good. Uh, everything's okay. So, uh, can people suffer stress even if there is nothing stressful going on in their life? Clearly. You better believe it. Oh, uh, <laughs> you better believe it. All right, that's all I have for this week. Yeah, if you want to get more stuff from us, we have tons of videos and cool slideshows and of course all of our 666 plus episodes of stuff you should know the podcast on our site stuffyoushouldknow.com go check it out thanks we'll see you next week